this is what I wanted to show you. This is why I'm playing this today, the day before Canada. A pre-Canada Day, Canada Day special. This is Mystery Lake. That is the camp office, ice fishing huts, this gorgeous like group of seven-ish art design. But look at this. And it's essentially definitively truly Canadian. Geeks, what is going on today? Unite the Clans here, back in your life, and I'm back in your life with The Long Dark. If you are not familiar with this game, it is a Canadian, independent, wilderness survival game. No zombies, no crazy monsters, however, the wilderness can be unforgiving. This game, uh, besides being absolutely gorgeous, um, is really fun to play. It's in early access on Steam right now, and I hadn't really played in about a year. Uh, now I just played for the last hour and had some problems with my recording, which is cool. We'll do it again. But um, Canada Today is tomorrow, and I wanted to hit you guys up with something essentially Canadian. Now stay tuned to the channel, because tomorrow I have some retro uh, Canadian video game history coming your way on the channel. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the surprise, but I wanted to preview it with the long dark. I adore this game. Now, I would love to be wearing this hat. I'm just too hot and it doesn't really work with that, these headphones, which are the ones I want to use. Uh, so guys, I wanted to get into this game. It is, like I said, in early access. The story mode is coming. Currently we're in sandbox mode. So we'll go sandbox mode, we'll go voyageur, and we'll go a dude, and we'll go mystery lake, and we shall start over. A mysterious Geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down in the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Don't go anywhere. Epic quote. Shut up. He is at home with his solitude as the note reverberating inside a bell. Peter Heller. Oh no, this is the dam. There's sometimes a wolf in the dam. Oh, Jesus. This is the spot we spawn? Tell me there's no wolf. I'm not ready for this. Jeans? Give me the jeans. There's, oh, maybe on basic gloves. Okay. Okay, this is a treasure trove, but I, I don't have the light source to. Oh, God, it's dark as hell. I can't see a freaking thing. Oh, man, guys, this is. What the hell? You spawn in here? How are we supposed to survive? There better be lanterns nearby. Give me a lantern. Uh, if I run out of matches, this is gonna be books. I don't have time to read. I better that better be fuel for a fire. This is the end of the world. If you don't know what you need to know now, you're never gonna learn it. That's my philosophy. Workbench. It's got a drawer. Please be a lantern in here. More matches. That'll work. Some jerky. So yes, it's a survival game, guys. It is a little bit. Okay, I'll take you. We're gonna have to come back here when we get a lantern. And actually, hey, oh. I'll take that. Oh, that's not a thing I can take. And we'll have to actually explore it because match light is not the best. And I swear to God, guys, I came here once. Maybe they've changed it. This is the only building I've ever seen a vicious creature in. But there's a wolf who lives here, and her name is Fluffy. And she's massive and scary. She's not always here for everybody, though. Sometimes you play and she just isn't here. Um, but yeah, this is a, a crazy cool game. It is still, like I said, a work in progress. I fell a, a, a safe. Right, there's good stuff in a safe. Did I get everything else of value here? I don't want to venture further forth into this nightmare. All right, I'm heading. Oh, I'm heading over to the safe. We're gonna try and crack it, guys. I've seen this done. It's just gonna open, isn't it? Okay, no, it's not. Okay, fourteen. Give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me. There! Now I, I'm gonna have to go so slow now. Oh. 
Oh, we did it. Be good in there. Take it. Give me more. Give me more. Give me good stuff. Rifle ammunition. Insulated boots. Okay, that seems good. That seems good. All right, now let's get... Am I crouching? Oh, it is so... The noises in here are ridiculously and unnecessarily scary. What are you? Some freaky thing. Some big freaky thing. All these are big and freaky. Where was that door? Where did I come in this? Oh my gosh. I can't... Oh, that's, that's good. I'm going to burn through all my matches here, guys. Then we're going to be fumbling around in the dark. And God knows Fluffy could still be here. I know she got me... The one time I played, she got me right by the big, the main, the door that we just came in. This one, somewhere over here, there's one. Oh yes, that is exactly what I need. Okay, as soon as this match goes out, guys, we are set. Oh, it's scary. Oh, that is scary. Okay, give me, give me a torch. Give me. Yeah, light it. Light it! Oh, I'm terrified. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't even know there was a whole space here. See what I mean? You need a proper... Okay, I'll take those. I'll take those. Yeah, I can't jump. I'll take a down vest. We are gearing up, guys. This has been a blessing. So it is a bit grindy. You gotta work through. In the first playthrough I did, my goal was to survive uh, 24 hours. And geez, I played for all, I fricked up 50 minutes to get there. So it's not a fast-paced game. Days don't go by like that. So today, I think our new goal, I should show you. I haven't even showed you the HUD. So you get two. This is like your survivor thing. It keeps track of your thirst, your hunger, your cold, your fatigue, current air temperature. It's in Celsius. Canadian game developed by Hinterland Studios from Vancouver. Me, United the Clans, living in the capital, Ottawa. We're leaving it in Celsius. If you don't understand Celsius, that's your job to figure it out. It's the way of the future. Fahrenheit was invented by an old... Well, they're both pretty old, actually. George Celsius and Peter Fahrenheit. I'm a true historian. Actually, I don't know. They must be named after people, right? Orange Sodi. Yes, give it all to me. Okay, there are plenty of good things. Gimme! Who keeps an orange soda in a filing cabinet anyway? I hope I have no idea how much fuel I've got for this thing. Was Is this where we were, or am I just wandering in... Deadly, scary, scary, deadly circles. Rifle rounds? Oh man, if we find that rifle, we're geared up. We got all the ammo in the game. I've never even found rifle ammo. I found one at a time. Oh, I don't have a pry bar that the other one's locked. I bet it is. Yeah, one of these will be locked. Give me my things. Give me lighter fuel. More boots. So guys, uh, I'll show you the gear, but I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it now because I'll, I'll. I'm in a scary place. Oh yes. Give me more things! Okay, more wool hats. Okay, so you also have this, your inventory. Uh, all your inventory, health, clothing. Uh, and the clothing, like you look, basic boots, gives me 0.3 uh, warmth bonus and wind chill bonus. These are much better. So we're gonna wear these, and actually, yeah, these are the best. So we'll wear these, and these we can actually break down to repair the other ones. So that gives us cured leather. We'll harvest that, and we'll use that. Oh, I'm using my daylight. I'm using all my daylight. I can't sleep the night here. I don't want to. And let's repair this thing. 80%, and it's going to take an hour and a half. Screw it. We'll do it when we have a safe place to hide for the night. And I'm not burning lantern fuel just by talking. There's another one. Did I look in there? It's locked. So you need a pry bar to crack those. Oh, and this, this leads down under the damn floor. Not the dam floor, but the, the the floor of the... We're inside a dam. That'll come in handy. This is the Carter Hydro Dam. Locked. in locker. Yeah, it's all come in handy, man. It's a survival situation. I don't need your annoying input. All right, we've been through here. We've been... Oh, yeah, okay. Been through here. The only way is out. Okay, and we are out of lighter fuel. So the only way is out. I'm not going further deeper down into this thing without lighter fuel. Uh... There's plenty to explore, and I think there could be a rifle here. Ah, I don't know where. Is it the same room as the safe? If, oh, I, we gotta get lighter fluid, fuel, butane, kerosene, we need something. So let's head out here, and I think I know how to get back to Mystery Lake from here. Now, Mystery Lake is the the spot that the game... Oh, I slid down that, didn't I? So out here in the wilderness are 
all kinds of things, including, yeah, Carter Hydro Dam indeed, including wolves and deer, and they kill each other. I don't have the tool I need to get the meat off that. You need a knife or you need a pick. Now, I see something over here. Is it a corpse? I think I might see, oh no, it's just like a little wood. Just buried? A whole house buried? That's weird. Show me what I need. Yes, you follow the rails. You follow the tracks. Which way, though? Oh, yes. Yeah. So this way, I think, leads to one of the other regions of the game. So we'll remember how to get back here. I think that leads to the second one, whatever that was called. But you can see, guys, this is a gorgeous game. Um, at the moment, it might be, like, depends on your personal style. But for me, like, they're doing a lot with not a lot. Like, these actual textures aren't mind-blowing textures, if you look up close. But as a whole, like, if you stand back and look, this game is so gorgeous. That's a corpse. That is a corpse. Give me what you've got. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, that might be good. I might need that basic winter coat. What do I have on right now? Winter coat, winter coat. Do I even have... I don't even have a winter coat. I've got a down vest that I should be putting on. I don't want to go that way. I want to stay on the tracks. So down here, I was there a minute ago. I think that's the logging area. And if we stay on the... Another dead deer. Dang. So I'm going to hustle down here. I'm going to try and get us to Mystery Lake. Three hours of daylight. We need to hustle. Uh, this game, guys, is... You do not want to be outside at night without a lantern. You don't want to be outside at night in general. Because uh, it's cold as frick. But, uh... It's... I mean, you just can't see anything. You just cannot see anything. There, I see a bunch of stuff on the ground up here, guys. This is where I found a hatchet. Uh... A minute ago when I tried playing, I see a first aid kit, I see a corpse, I see what, another crow feather? Hunting knife, nice! Okay, now the next deer we find we can butcher. Gimme this. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Of course he doesn't need it, he's a corpse, you idiot. It's the end of the world, take what you can get. Take what you need. Screw everyone else. So... Oh, God. And there are wolves, guys, if I didn't mention it. There are wolves, and they are scary as hell. So there's a way to balance beam on this thing. It's easier than it used to be. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, guys. I have never found this. Oh, baby. Now, I didn't play that much before, but I have never found that. That's the hunting rifle. And we found all that ammo. Oh, guys, I didn't want to do a series. I just wanted to do one, one... Oh, beef jerky dropped. What am I doing? I thought that's how you equip a... Why am I dropping beef jerky? Oh, yes. Right down the sights. I think, guys, it's in our best interest to get the hell out of here. Daylight is waning. Okay, guys. So, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. It was... Okay. This is what I wanted to show you. This is why I'm playing this today, the day before Canada, a pre-Canada Day, Canada Day special. This is Mystery Lake, that is the camp office, ice fishing huts, this gorgeous like group of seven-ish art design. I mean this, I, I didn't finish what I was saying, it's a really pretty game, they do a lot with a little, like I said, the textures aren't amazing, um, but they make this game look so moody, so beautiful. I mean, the only game on the horizon right now for me that looks prettier is Firewatch. Uh, and I'll be playing that when it comes out, but look at this. And it's essentially, definitively, truly Canadian. Um, and I think it's important that, um, that we Canadian YouTubers have the backs of uh, some Canadian developers because, you know, for anyone who's not Canadian watching, you know, we get a bit of the short end of the stick sometimes. Americans, we're essentially the exact same as you, as people as you guys. But, um, but we, you know, we're the butt of some American jokes, and all of our best and most talented people move to your country, nobody sticks around here. I think it's important to, to foster the, you know, truly creative, brilliant minds that exist in this country. And guys, this is the camp office. This is where I set up home, set up base last episode. So I, I don't think I have any fuel. No, I don't. I could light it. I could light it. A flare, but you need those to scare off wolves. Not that I need to scare off wolves. If I need to scare off wolves, I'll give them a little taste of this. Right down the sight. Strafe. Strafe. Scope. No scope. 360. No scope. There we go. I don't even know what that means. I mean, it seems pretty self-explanatory. 
This is a workbench. Now you can create many things. When I was here a minute ago, there was a fishing hook and some line on it, and I don't see. Oh, yes. What have we here? Yes, indeed. What have we here? Thank you. So look, many a thing you can craft, including hook, line, and fishing tackle. Out there are those ice huts. You know what, maybe we'll do that. Two hours of daylight left. I don't know how you fish, but uh, if we do if we do, do a longer series here, guys, uh, I'll obviously come back to this amazing spot. Uh, every time I've been here, there's been a corpse at the top of the stairs, so let's have a look. I'm getting distracted. I'll come back and explore this whole place. But I just want to give you a tour of it. This is one of the safer spots to set up camp. <gasps> no corpse. You know what? No corpse. We're finding lighters. This is a match made in heaven. So up here, there's a ton of stuff here I haven't collected. But I want to try and do ice fishing before it's too dark. Guys, I think come this winter, I would love to do a Let's Play on it. But because it's summer, um, I don't know. It feels out of like I feel much more natural playing Ark. Or maybe some Stranded Deep or something like that. Something... Uh, where you're on a you're on a beach and it's hot that feels more natural this you know what it's frigid where i live in the winter uh and i would love to play this come winter and i could actually wear this stupid hat i could wear it the whole time in fact i'd probably want to um, but these little fishing huts they're neat little spots but they are not um oh am i i don't, i'm gonna run out of daylight aren't i i'm still running out of daylight okay ice hole break it Oh, uh, oh, this is taking hours! I'm gonna be a dead man! There's wolves, there's bears in this game? I don't know if there's bears at Mystery Lake, they're definitely... Oh yes, this is frickin' wise. Well, why don't we light a fire here? Oh, there's some grape soda. Okay. So 100% chance with that. You know what? It's cold, it's late. We're just gonna do it. Oh, and so much faster, too. Okay. Oh, that doesn't do a whole lot for us, does it? I can't even see the door. How insane is that, guys? So that's the drawer. The hole must be here. There we go. Yes, it's the middle of the night. Let's fish for an hour. Oh, you know what? I, this is a cool new feature for this game. I get nothing? Two hours. I don't care how late and dark it is. I don't care if I get eaten by a wolf hole. Oh, I'll take it. Lake Whitefish Raw. Oh, we caught something, baby. Ready to die. No, of course we're not ready to die. Let's get... I can't light my freaking lantern, right? Okay, so where's the door? See, look at this nightmare. This is why you do not want to be outside at night. I don't even know which direction to go. I think... You know what? And my stupid hut is even invisible. So this is it, geeks. It is bitter cold, dark, and uh, I can't even do anything. I can light a match, but I can't even see the cabin I just walked out of. Um, I wanted to say happy can happy early Canada Day. Check me out tomorrow for more Canadian video gaming. Um, and if you haven't seen or checked out this game yet, go do it. It's very, very cool. And it's an, for an early access game, it's awesome. It feels practically done. Um, but they're adding a story mode, so this thing is just going to keep getting bigger and better, and it's worth checking out now. And it helps, it is one of the singular most beautiful games I have ever seen. So props to the guys over at Hinterland. That's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of The Long Dark. Hit me up in the comments if you want to see me do a Let's Play of this at some point in the future. I am Unite the Clans. Thank you, geeks, for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video.